So with me when I do kayaking, wading, or riverbank fishing, I take a little bag, a Magellan bag that I bought at Academy a while back. I put uh, the basic tools and the stuff that's been working for me. I'm going to give you a little tour of what it is. It's not a lot of stuff because I keep it really simple. I don't want to be carrying all this junk that I'm not going to use. This is me sharing what I do and what I what I use. I'm sure you all can relate. Check it out. It's not a lot of stuff, but it's cool. Okay, this is my carry bag. This is the one that I take with me everywhere when I'm walking, wading, or kayaking. First of all, some kind of knife, sharp objects or branches, or just anything in general you never know you could use one of these it's pretty nice it has a nice grip uh, my pliers that's standard a glove just in case i need to get something that might require me to have a glove i have my scale i just got this from a friend actually a gift and uh in here there's a little pouch you know you keep your ids in there and in here i'll have one of these so I've mentioned this rod before. It's awesome. 10 pound line on a black Max 10 and a, a Best Pro Shop uh, telescopic rod. It's a 6.6, I believe. First of all, I want to start with these swim baits. These are three inches long by Berkley Power Bait. And uh, two of the popular ones for me are the Baby Bass and this one right here. This is the Fire Tiger. The Fire Tiger, for some reason, I've never caught anything on it uh, in the same spots that I use these two, the baby bass and this one. And uh, those are, right now I'm out of stock. So right now I just got a bunch of Fire Tigers, obviously, because they haven't really been working that well for me. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in this, and in some videos you'll see that it has produced. And uh, I'll throw in some worms. I'll take some of these. These are the uh, Slim Shaky Worm. I do have jigs for that, just in case nothing else is working. That trench hog is awesome. At creeks, here down in the valley. This is actually one of my favorite ones. In one of my videos, you'll see that I, been, I catch a bunch of good sized bass on these when I'm waiting. And this one, well, I just keep it in there. Or bring it with me just in case all these others don't work this is the uh, mondo worm blue flake blue flake is awesome anyways i just bought these recently by h2o i really don't have a lot of h2o stuff but they do look promising they have a natural color this is a male bluegill color i saw them and i'm like hey this has to work they're about three inches long yeah they are three inches and uh, they have a nice natural color versus these but like i said these two have produced these are gonna be tested pretty soon now hopefully i'll get to make a video on these the other one that's really popular that has produced for me is the ned rig also by this brand the ned rig they have a right on side like i've mentioned before and i'll put these uh wacky rig drop shot hooks on them I don't put weights on them because I like that slow fall. Uh, others use these jig heads, and uh, they, I've I've done them too, and they, they work fine. But for some reason, I don't know. I just like these, the slower presentation. I work it a lot slower, and it works great. But uh, normally, I just throw in these two, a couple of swim baits, and and then throw in some random worms like these or these. I also throw in some random stuff that I'm experimenting with. That's basically it. It's not a lot of stuff because for the same reasons. I don't want to be digging. Nothing too hardcore. And that's a little tour of my bag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep on checking out the other videos. A lot of informative stuff that might be useful to you if you fish this area. Or the Rio Grande River. That's about it. See y'all next time.